Take a break and join us. Gold Town, the Pahrump Nugget, and Lakeside Casinos. Every year we see people who attempt to shoot off their own fireworks coming into emergency departments with burns, with mangled hands, with eye injuries. And we just want people to know that they should be safe. 57% of fireworks injuries are burns, according to the Consumer Product Safety Commission. Injuries to the hands and fingers are most common, followed by the legs, face, and eyes. Dr. Fertel says alcohol and fireworks don't mix, so any adults handling them should be sober and take appropriate safety precautions. Fireworks should be ignited in a wide open area away from structures or dry leaves, and once lit, you should move away quickly. Keep a bucket of water or hose nearby in case of emergency or fire, and after fireworks complete burning, douse them with plenty of water. If a fireworks device doesn't fully ignite, don't pick it up or try relighting it. Dr. Fertel says the safest way to enjoy fireworks is to avoid DIY displays altogether and hire a professional. Fireworks are dangerous. They're beautiful. They're lovely to watch when done in the hands of professionals. But those professionals wear protective eyewear, they know how to handle these, and they make sure to do that in a safe way. Dr. Fertel says children should always be kept away from fireworks and watched very closely with sparklers. Sparklers burn at about 2,000 degrees and can injure a child.